Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Dino update. We've got uh, uh, some improvements to Dino coverage coming in the next release of, of Dino. Uh, in particular, there's going to be HTML output. Uh, this produces HTML files that uh, allow you to explore coverage like you might be used to on in other systems. Uh, we're also introducing Dino test dash dash coverage. Uh, which should make it super easy to, to get coverage output for your tests and a host of other issues. Uh, this will be out in, in 139, which is, is due next week. Uh, so yeah, try it out and, and let us know how, how it's working uh, or if, if you have any problems with it. We, we want coverage to be uh, world-class uh, like everything in Dino. WebGPU is returning to Dino also in 139. We've had WebGPU support for a long time. Dino has had support for this probably for two years now, but we removed it back in March due to uh, startup time performance problems. Uh, we realized that WebGPU support was loading all sorts of system libraries, and this this actually had a detrimental impact on users who had nothing to do with WebGPU. So we worked with the WGPU team to lazy load various frameworks like Metal and Quartz Core. And uh, that work is complete and will be landing momentarily. WebGPU is really great because it opens up the possibility of doing fast matrix multiplications in Dino. Uh, and I'm very excited to get TensorFlow.js working on Dino with the WebGPU backend and being able to do hardcore statistics in, in Dino. URL pattern is also getting a performance improvement in 139. And this is being driven by improvements in Fresh. Fresh 161 was released this week to make use of URL pattern. Uh, the, the improvements are uh, basically introducing a little cache in, into the, the URL pattern implementation that makes it roughly 10x faster. Once uh, 139 is released, definitely upgrade your, your fresh to 161 uh, and you should experience much improved routing performance. Timers in Dino, uh, that is set timeout is, and set interval is also uh, being re-implemented at the moment. This probably won't land in time for 139, but uh, this, is, this is quite important work because right now handling many, many timers, like millions of timers in Dino is, is uh, relatively slow and takes quite a lot of memory as you can see from this benchmark here. This is important because highly concurrent servers often will have a timer associated with each connection, right? You're, you are waiting for a connection to, to go idle, right? If you haven't seen any, any transmissions in the last 30 seconds or whatever, you might want to close that, that connection. So it's important for Dino to, to be able to handle uh, in an efficient way, large number of timers. And yeah, this work is ongoing, a little unclear when, when this will land, but it's, it's uh, coming down the pipeline and, and uh, just wanted to let you all know about that. Dino 139, as I said, is coming out next week, December 14th. Really excited about this release. There's all sorts of improvements, small and large. So check it out when it's when it's uh when it comes out all right bye see you next time <laughs>